Hey guys, 8 Fitz here, and today we're going to be showing you how to connect your Xbox 360 controller to your RetroPie. So last time we showed you how to get a wired controller hooked up to your RetroPie. Today we're going to show you how to get a wireless Xbox 360 controller set up. So you'll need the controller and you will need a USB type receiver for the RetroPie. Uh, this happens to be one I found on Amazon for about 20 bucks. I'll put a link for one in the description of this video as well. Um, they don't make this particular one anymore. This is a made in China one. It's not the actual Microsoft one, but this one works just as fine. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to take our wireless Xbox receiver and we're going to plug it right into the RetroPie. We'll see that green light come on. Now we're going to push the sync button and we're going to push the sync button on the Xbox. We're going to turn the Xbox on first. Then we're going to push the sync button. And there we go. Now we're synced up. Okay, so it showed me it's player one. And now I can go in here and I can't do anything on the RetroPie yet. Okay, so I'm going to take my other controller. And we're going to go and we're going to hit the configure input button. And we're going to hold A on the wireless box, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to program this. We're going to go D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right, start, select. Now this is going to be backwards because it's Xbox. So A is this button and B is this button. So it says A button east. So we're going to go A, B, X, which is here and Y, which is here. Left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. Now, right and left thumbs are the push downs. So left thumb, right thumb, left analog up, down, left, right, right analog up, down, left, right, and then that hotkey is select. And we're gonna hit okay. All right, so now we can go ahead and use it, okay? But because of this analog stick right now, we're gonna go try this on Mega Man 2 just to try it out. We've loaded all these NES ROMs in a previous video as well. And what you'll notice is without any of the additional drivers you need, you're not gonna be able to use this analog stick. You're gonna to have to use the D-pad. And if you wanna just use the D-pad, that's fine. Uh, for these normal games that don't require the analog stick. So if I go and try to use the analog stick, see, we've got nothing. But if I use the D-pad, we can. So we go into Flashman stage here. Big Mega Man fan, so, so see, I can't move. But if I use this, I can do what I need to, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to go and we're going to show you how to set up the drivers. All right, so to change that analog stick, we're going to go to the RetroPie menu. Oops, RetroPie menu. And we're going to do a configuration editor right here. Okay. Once that comes up, we're going to want to configure the basic emulator options, and we're going to scroll down here until we get to... Oh, I'm done. We're going to go to the first one here. Configure options for all emulators. Okay. So right here we have the video smoothing, overlay, choose joypad order, player one, use analog stick as D-pad. So that's unset. So we're going to hit A on this. And then disabled, one for left stick and two for right stick. So we're going to want to use that left stick. So we're going to click on left stick. And we're going to click OK. Oh, we already did that. We're going to go cancel, cancel, cancel. All right. And now let's head back over to Mega Man. Let's give this a try. So my D-pad's working, and so now is my analog stick. Go back into Flashman. Great music in this game. I love this game. So there's that. And 
No problem. Now there's one more option you may want to do, and that's to switch the A and the B buttons. So A normally will, in a Super Nintendo controller, A will bring you into the menu, B will back you out. Well, here B is going to bring you into the menu, and A is going to back you out, because the A and B buttons are swapped on the Xbox controllers as compared to a Nintendo controller. So I'll show you how to fix that. Uh, I just push the right buttons. I remember this one does this, this one does this. I don't remember it as A or B or square or circle or uh, whatever you happen to be looking at on a controller. So we're going to go right into the configuration editor. And you will need a USB keyboard hooked up to the RetroPie for this. Okay? So you're going to go into advanced configurations and you're going to manually edit all configurations. And the first one you want to do is that edit, um, let me see what it said, uh, edit all auto config. CFG. And this ES swap AB equals zero, you're going to want to change that zero to one. So the, the keystroke isn't the best on this. So there's the, there we go. So that zero, we're going to make a one. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to click OK again. And we're going to cancel right out of this. All right. So now that that's configured, we're going to have to uh, reconfigure the input so we'll hit start and we're going to again configure the input and we're going to hold and we're going to go ahead and we'll hold the button on our controller and then we're going to up down left right start select a b x y left right left right left thumb right thumb up down left right up down, left, right, hotkey, start. Okay. So there, it's all backwards already. It's as you can see. Um, you know, like I said, B is supposed to. Uh, this is supposed to bring you into the menu. The this would be the A button on the Nintendo, and this is going to bring you out. And now it's going to back you out. But if you go into a game. backwards from how I'm used to. <laughs> Did it again. I'm just used to the, the which side, which button I have to push. But if we go into a game here, you'll notice that they won't be switched at all. Shoot this jumps that didn't change at all. So the only thing it changes is inside emulation station. Well, I hope that got you Xbox 360 wireless controller hooked up to your RetroPie. I still use that to this day when I'm playing on my RetroPie. I think it's just the controller that I'm most comfortable with. Uh, and I had that forever because that's what I used to play with all the time was my Xbox 360. So hopefully you like that. If you don't, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can help you out with. And uh, thanks for watching.